welcome back to How to Draw a Chibi Part 2. So in my first video, I covered this chibi. This is my style of chibi where it has the hourglass kind of figure, and it's a bit taller than my next chibi that I'm going to do. So my next chibi, I'm going to start out with a circle for the head, about as big as Raven's. And then for the body, I'm just going to do a line down, a line across up here for the shoulders, and then a shape for the chest area, and then a shape for the pelvic area. And then I'm going to have one leg going out and the other leg kind of following it as well. And I'm going to stop right there, make little triangles for the little feet. And then I'm going to lighten it up with my kneaded eraser because I'm going to go ahead on top of it and draw something a bit more fleshed out. I'm going to draw the bottom part of the face. I'm not going to do the full circle. And then with these guidelines that I made, I'm going to go ahead and draw a neck and the overall body, the shoulders, the arms, just kind of going out. Another shoulder, another arm. And this one is going to be kind of chubby. So I'm doing a kind of rounded shape over here. Going to do another little armpit area and then follow that same sort of shape. And then for hands and fingers, I kind of do them the same as this one, just the thumb coming out and then a finger here and maybe another finger. And, and then I don't really draw too many. I'm not trying to get it realistic. It's a chibi, not a lot of space to fit all fingers on the hand. And so right here, I'll draw a finger, another finger, and that's about it. The thumb is behind the character. And then I'm not really going to make feet. I'm just going to kind of go with this flow I've got going. So they're just kind of like nubs. <laughs> And this is definitely way more chibi than this first one. Tend to call these my chubby bubblies, only because they're significantly more fluid, but also like kind of chubby in a sense and bubbly. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do some guidelines for face. Going to have some pretty big eyes. So I'm doing some pretty big circles. And of course, I've done face tutorials a lot in this channel. So that's basically what I'm following here. And to get symmetrical eyes, just make sure you're doing them both at the same time. So I just drew the upper eyelid on this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the upper eyelid on this eye just to get it to match as much as possible because it won't always match exact. Then I'm going to do bottom lash line and the other bottom lash line on this side. And for the most part, it's starting to look like it matches a bit. And then the iris, other iris. And then I usually leave them just like that. When I ink and color them, then I'll finish them up with how they look with the pupil and such. I do add a nose, but again, it's simplistic. That's pretty much it. And then just a little mouth right below. And I'm thinking that since I have Raven here, I might as well make this other one Starfire. I'm going to do my same sort of oval eyebrows. And then she's got bangs over here. So I'm just drawing them kind of like a heart shape going out from the middle over here. And then the bangs just kind of swooping in while kind of going down to the sides just a bit. And then she's got two hair strands coming down that are pretty long. So I'm trying to make them all like swoopy, like so. Seems simple enough, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to finish up her chin area. Just kind of that curved look following the circle that I had before. You'll notice I haven't finished her hair, but that's because I need to figure out her clothing and everything else first. So she's got design on her clothing around her neck and it goes a little over her shoulders and then down over her chest, kind of swooping down like that. And then over here, she's got a big gem similar to like Raven, except it's purple and not red. And then her shirt comes out from this chest piece thing like that. And then she's got crop top, I guess you could say now these days. <laughs> I'm just going to have it swooping around slightly curved just to kind of follow the shape of her body and to make it look more dimensional. And then we've got her skirt comes down like that, comes down like this. And then she's got like a belt. So I'm going to draw that really quick. And then I'm going to go across right here for her skirt, erase her pelvic area. There we go. Finish her belt. And then she's got these boots. I'm running out of space, but that's okay because she's a chibi. So it's okay to like smush things in there. If anything, it just makes her look even more chibi-ish. 
There we go. And then finally the rest of her hair. So I can pretty much finish it up since everything else is done. I'm coming out from the top and just going down. I'm gonna swoop out for some body because she has a lot of hair. And her hair length seems to vary from like comics to TV show. Like I think in the TV show, it's not this long, but in the comics, it's crazy long. And then curving out, going in and then curving out again. Kind of see it behind her like that down. And then that's pretty much it. She doesn't have these two hair strands coming out in front, actually comes out in back. So I'm going to erase that a bit. So I followed her cartoon show design as far as her outfit goes, but I definitely went with longer hair. And so now comes the inking. I'm going to go ahead and take my kneaded eraser and lighten her up just like I did with Raven as well. And then I'm going to take my inking pens and start inking her in. And I always start with my eyes. That's just how I am. And I definitely suggest using your smallest inking pen for just a lot of the smaller details. This is the 0.05. And then I'm going to go to a Slightly bigger size, 0.3. Did I do her hair too swoopy? I don't know. I don't even think that's a word, swoopy. I don't know, I just think of swoop because that's basically how I do all my hair. It's just nice because it feels like it gives a lot of life to hair, like all that movement. Totally forgot her gloves, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it in now. Just gonna make a line across here, curving up, and that's it. <laughs> and it kind of goes around right here. There we go. And then I feel like the circle of her belt could be bigger. So I'm going to make that just a bit larger and then connect the belt to the circle and on the other side too. And I'm almost done. Going to finish up her top and her skirt. And then I'm going to give her a bolder outline just to sort of balance out the bold outlines I gave here. Cause I actually kind of messed up my lining just a bit. So when that happens and I have to draw thicker lines, I find that outlining the figure kind of helps that out. The thick lines look intentional. And so I just kind of make a line outside of the other one and then fill it in. And that's it. So yeah, so it definitely makes it feel like these lines don't stand out as much. And it's like, yes, those lines were in fact intentional, even though they absolutely were not. And so after I finish inking everything in, I go ahead and I erase any sketching lines that I still have. And then I get to color. So right now I'm starting with her skin, which I think was the first thing I started with on Raven. And now Starfire is a bit darker skin tone. And then I'm going to use the color sand for shading. And I think I'm going to make her lips pink. So I do a darker pink up top and then a bit of a lighter pink on bottom. Not sure if the difference is showing though. They're pretty similar. It's super cute. And then Starfire has green eyes all over. I'm taking this pale kind of green color. So I'm going to color it all in. So I'm doing the iris and I'm doing even the whites of her eyes. I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm doing just a darker green and shading on the iris. I'm just kind of dividing the eye in half and coloring the upper half dark. And then following the curve of the iris around here. And then getting an even darker green and halfing the eye again and coloring up top. And there we go. And then doing a bit of a circle, for the actual pupil. And then I'm gonna leave it like that to dry because then I take my Posca paint marker and add a white pupil, which is just my style. In the meantime, while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and color in her clothing. We've got a gray up top, gray right here, and on the other side, as well as her belt being gray and the tops of her boots right here that are gray as well. And of course some shading. It's kind of like, even though it's gray, I think it's like a metal, I believe. So I'm going to try and mimic that. And then the rest of her outfit is purple. So I'm starting out with this really light purple, though it looks kind of dark a bit. That's okay. It's a mauve color and this is just my base color. And then I'm just going to do a darker purple over top leaving some highlights just by not coloring in some areas like on the sides and then an even darker purple just for some minimal shading in places where it's pretty dark and maybe some like lines for fabric so I'm doing these two lines going across and then I'm going to do that same sort of lining in her skirt and there we go maybe on the bottom too 
kind of struggling to decide what to do her hair color. In the cartoon show, it's kind of like a pinkish color, like a really saturated pink. But in the comics, it's more of an orangey color. And I think I'm going to do orangey, mostly because the pinks that they use in the cartoon, I don't feel like I have in my set. It would just be soft pink. And to me, that's not so accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and do my oranges. And I hope I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't think I will. So far, it's not so bad. Based off what I've done so far, it's not too bad. It's definitely very fiery, but I feel like that's what the creators were aiming for when they created the hair. So I'm definitely feeling pretty confident with it. And now the eyebrows, and that's almost it. I'm gonna add in some shinies now with my Posca paint pen in white. And I pretty much just put it in the hair, in the pupils, like I mentioned before. I don't know, just really brightens up the eye to me. And then of course, like the same sort of white highlights that artists usually put. So I put that in too, just on like the corners. I'm gonna put some highlights on these metal looking parts on her outfit, on her bottom lip, and on the tip of the nose. And that's it. So I do feel like there's one more chibi that I could do. It's called the small and structured. I wanna say it's slightly smaller too. I'm not sure, I'd have to check and see. I've never actually done a comparison of the type of chibis that I do, but yeah. The one that I do the most often is this first one, which people claim, that's not a chibi, she's too tall, which is probably true. But anyways, this is how you do the second chibi. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And if it did, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment for what tutorial you'd like to see next, and I will see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.